Welcome back to another Nathan Tech vlog. This is vlog number five, and I have some exciting news for you guys today. In the last vlog, I was working on a prototype for the left cup holder in the EF Civics. Uh, this is the one that replaces the coin holder or the little plastic piece above the coin holder, to be more specific. Uh, and I have a lot of news on that, as well as a lot of pictures and some video of that working. I have been shipping out the 88291 Civic Sedan and Hatchback uh, cup holders, and I want to show you guys a couple updates on that, so let's start there. This is the current model that I'm working on. This one is actually going out to a customer tomorrow to get the logo put in there, if you can see that. Um, got the two holes drilled for the LEDs. This is all we've done before it gets sent out. There is some adjustment here, if you can see this is a little oblong in there. Slight adjustment for the automatics since they have to be shifted, let's see, actually it's going to be shifted back just a hair so that uh, these two upper corners clear the automatic shifter. This is what I'm hoping to eventually move to once we get some of the, uh, the printing ironed out a little bit. It's got a little more of a matte or a satin finish, finish to it, which I like a little bit more. This is ABS plastic, where this is high temp uh, PETG. And it's a little bit glossier, and I'm looking to go eventually, like I said, more to this satin finish. This will also handle heat a little bit better. Uh, and it's a little bit sturdier, uh, so for the long run. But we're running into, it's, it's very temperamental. If you have any temperature change while it's printing, it can, as you can see here, we've got some mess ups here. And let's see if you can see this. Anyway, this raised up, this kind of, instead of being flat, it started raising up a little bit. Um, same thing here, it's a little more of a bow in it. So what we're working on with the 3D printer is they're actually gonna build an enclosure for the couple printers that we're using to keep them at a constant temperature. So hopefully we don't run into some of the weird issues that we ran into with these. But I love the satin finish on this. I think it'll look a little bit better in the Civics than being as shiny as some of the other ones are. The one thing that's really exciting is for those of you that do not want to cut your consoles to have the, the two cup holders, this will be an alternative and should be available very soon. This is that left cup holder that replaces that in that coin area. So it bolts in with the two, the two screws, factory screws right here. All you do is pop the piece off, take the two screws out, put this in, put the two screws in. Should be pretty much it. Um, I test fitted this today. I have a video that I'll swap over to here in just a minute. Uh, the plan is, and I might raise this up a little bit, what I'm gonna be doing this week is testing it in my Civic. I have a 91 Civic sedan that I've got a pretty low, I scrape mud flaps, driving everywhere. Um, so I'm gonna be testing that with some, some cups and stuff like that to see how sturdy this is. Now this isn't full fill. Uh, we can make this a lot sturdier. I'm mainly just testing functionality, seeing how uh, I've got clearance on my knees getting in and out while I'm driving, how much I'm bumping it, if, if I bump it at all. Uh, and then I can make those adjustments if this needs to be raised and adjusted. Uh, and also how well, you know, if we get any bouncing, if it's starting to throw cans around, things like that. So those are some of the things I'll be testing over the next week. If all that stuff comes back good, then I'll move into production on these. Uh, right now, these are looking to be right around the $20, $25 range. Quite a bit cheaper than the dual cup holder because they take a lot less to manufacture, a lot less plastic and a lot less time. So... Definitely an alternative for those of you that do not want to cut, cut your console. I am also working on the same thing that will replace this whole piece. Uh, there'll basically be a hollow, a hollow shell. Obviously, this is that front piece. It'll probably like my current design comes down to about here. I'm just going to extend it down, and there's a, another screw hole down here. So all three. All three screws, the two up here and the one down here, will bolt into factory. This will just replace that panel from the outside and then it'll have the cup holder coming out from the front. 
pretty much the exact same design that this one will. It's just that it mounts on the car a little bit differently for those 88 to 90. Well, like the CRXs that go all the way to 91 um, and even some of the UK models that have it, the cup holder in two later years. This is the newest cup holder for the EF generation. This will work with the 90 and 91 Civics. Uh, should work with the wagons, the hatch, and uh, the sedan. You'll notice that it mounts here to the factory. There's a factory plastic piece here that's not used for anything. I decided let's use it. So it actually uses, there's two screws. Let's see if I can get the camera here at the right angle. There you go. So you can see there's a screw hole, screw that goes here, screw that goes here, and that's what holds it. And it does have a little bit of spacing out from the dash, and I did that on purpose. So I'm going to grab this can here real quick. So obviously a normal can is going to have a little bit of spacing. But... You want to do a larger can obviously that will fit the same or about the same thickness and this doesn't have a lot of play I mean, it'll wiggle a little bit but I haven't had much issue with my other cup holder and things moving around a lot even under hard acceleration or braking the reason why I made it a little bit further away from the dash is my plan is is you can also put a full large or extra large cup in there. Let me see if I can actually zoom in. Get right here. You look that that pretty much barely touches the dash here. Look at that. So even with a larger cup, this still works. And I can still get in and out of the car. And it doesn't hit my knees. I'm about 5'8", so my normal sitting in the car, even a little relaxed, I'm barely touching it. Most of the time I'm sitting back a little bit further. I have plenty of room to get in and out. Give you guys a few different angles of it here. It's really easy to reach to, when I, mean, I almost don't even have to, it's about arm's length. I mean, I'm sitting back in the chair. I've got a DA seat in here, and I can grab this really easy. It's actually it's actually closer than these ones. These ones, this is arm's reach, and I'm not quite not quite there. So you kind of have to lean forward for this one. This one obviously has two, so if you do a lot of traveling, um, it is nice to have two cups there, especially if you have a passenger. This works perfect. But this is an alternative for those that uh, don't want to cut the console and still want to be able to have one that mounts to a factory location and doesn't get in the way of anything except for this vent and your slider here which you can still get to very easily. Mine's been damaged so I just pulled it out and set it to lock or set it to close. But this turned out, this is only about my third prototype so it actually turned out really good. Got a couple more tweaks to do to it, and it will be out to you guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them below. Any suggestions to make the stuff better, uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell so you get any new vlogs that I've got coming out. I'm trying to get them out every couple days as I have new news for you guys. All this stuff is up on the website. I've got to put it post it up on social media, on Facebook, and, uh, and Instagram. Those are my main couple places that I post so follow me on all of those uh, I've got a lot more stuff coming out um, I've been brainstorming for the last couple months and I've got a lot of ideas a lot of stuff will be posting to see what you guys think as well if it's functional for you guys and whatnot um, so anyway make sure you follow me on all those feel free to message me anywhere and we'll see you next time